Jesus. Get a mission, get a mission. It's time for the Bible. Get a mission, get a mission. So come on close. Oh, yeah. Here we go. It's Kidder Mission time. Well, welcome. My name is Elsa. I am one of our Faith Kids directors here at Cheney Faith Center, and I'm really glad to be here with you this morning. And if somehow you missed it, we are talking about love today. Um, and not necessarily the love, but love, right? We are talking about love that God outlines for us through the words of Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 13. And um, while we're going to focus on it, it's really what the whole Bible's about. It's super cool that we can find anywhere in Scripture um, a picture of God's love. But this section is about what it looks like for us to share God's love. And we have a memory verse today from 1 Corinthians. It's in your journal. So kids, grab your journal. If you don't have it, it looks something like this. You might have the other cover. If you don't have one, we'd love to get one for you. So um, pop by the church or send me a text or um, April an email or something, and we'll bring it to you or mail it to you or whatever. But we'd love to get one in your hands and in your kids' hands. And with that, we're going to open to week number three, 1 Corinthians chapter 13. And I'm going to read our memory verse, and that is verse number two, but I'm also going to read verse number one. If I could speak all the languages of earth, there's a lot of them, and of angels, even more languages there, but didn't love others, I would only be a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. If I had the gift of prophecy and I understood all of God's secret plans and possessed all knowledge, and if I had such faith that I could move mountains, but I didn't love others, I would be nothing. And so I brought some things with me today to kind of show us just what Paul's talking about. This. Can't you understand me? It's so easy to hear what I'm saying, right? Did anybody catch that? It's really hard to hear when you don't have love. It doesn't sound good. No one can understand what you're saying. You just sound like a bad musician. But when you have love, you will sound so pretty. This is a fun fact for you. If this is my love, this water, and I pour it in here, doesn't that sound so soothing? Some of us use that sound and we fall asleep to it every night we listen to like the waterfall it sounds so pretty doesn't sound like that clanging symbol this is your fun fact life cannot exist without water there are planets i know some of you are thinking hey we need air but we do but there are planets that have air and they don't have water when scientists are looking for signs of life, they're looking for water, which is why I'm using this water right here to show you what it might be to have love and how love would sound and how essential it is just like water is to our lives. Okay, well, whatever. I don't s play bad music, you may say. I like to do other kinds of art. I have recently been learning how to paint, and so I brought my... Um, paints. They're very professional. And I have been painting, so I'm going to just paint really quick this beautiful picture of the cross. So pretty, huh? Oh, maybe you can't see it. Can you see it now? Sound, sound very pretty, huh? Because just like watercolors are pretty much ugly without water, our hearts, our gifts, the things that we love to do, pretty ugly without love. But the second I put some water on this watercolor, well, and some paint. You can see it. You can see it. Water colors are pointless without water. Our gifts are pointless without love. Also, 
Mrs. Kate is going to speak later, and I know she likes some tea. So I thought I'd make you some tea. Mm -hmm. It's lemon ginger. Do you like lemon ginger? Mm, it smells good. Mm. So I'm just going to put it in this cup. It's all ready for you, okay? So I'll just leave it here for you. Can I taste it first? Would that be okay? Guys, it doesn't taste like anything. I got to have some love water. And now, right, now I can serve Mrs. Kate some delicious tea. I can put this, mmm, it smells real good now. Mmm, it tastes good. I know you don't like my germs, so I won't leave it here for you, but I'll bring you a new tea. This tea, flavorless, without water, right? Without love, we don't taste good to other people. This is my last, coolest thing. This, this is my special connection bar, my, my super stick, I'm going to call it. And I can, uh, it gives me superpowers. It helps me know, like, like it says right here in scripture, all of God's secret plans. And it helps me connect with other people. It allows me when... When I hold this and I connect with someone else, they feel and hear and experience God's love. Pastor Mark, could you come up here for a second? I'm just going to hand this to you. And, and when, when you feel the connection, don't jump, okay? Okay. okay. Touch. Just hold, put your hand on the end. Oh, we're connected. Huh. Huh. That was lame. <laughs> Let's try a little love water. Let's put, oh, just, a, just a little bit. Put a little love on it. Might have been a little too much. Let's try it now. Can you hold it? Mm. Hold on. I didn't put too much on. It really does. Mm. I'm oh. I touch it again. Mm. Do you? Do you have a love, Pastor Mark? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I have my mask on right now. <laughs> Maybe I don't. Oh, no. You guys, it's not working. Well, just like in uh, our scripture, right? If we have gifts and we don't have love, pretty much a dud. If we are trying to connect with someone and we're using our gifts and we're trying so hard, but we don't have love, there's no connection. Can we try it again? Why isn't it working? It really is supposed to connect, and I'm, maybe it's better because it kind of surprises you. Yeah. yeah, it might make you. He didn't have any love, guys. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe. It has nothing to do with football. But, but when, do you hear that? Do you see that? When we connect with love, we make a connection. It might be as cool as something that's really makes a fun sound and lights up. But the point is, we got to have love when we connect with one another, right? Pastor Mark really is full of love. With that, I would like to invite you to um, one more secret code, one more secret. When you practice your memory verse this week, um, you maybe got a round one or maybe a square one, but this is a secret decoder, and it will help you to learn your memory verse. And as you hold it over this, it will reveal to you the scripture that is our memory verse. And so you can um, use this to practice this week. Again, as you memorize your scripture, we have memory verse prizes. And um, send us a little video or give us a call. Let us know that you did it, and we would love to share that with you.